Purdue University is a large campus bringing together over 4,000 people. 22% of these students chose to join Purdue Greek Life. While sororities and fraternities have been around for years, many establishments today are being forced to close down due to dangerous behavior. Universities are questioning the safety of Greek life and a solution to prevent more accidents. IFC president and senior member of Sigma Chi, Seth Gutwein, explained to me Purdue's latest party safe solution, BYOB. So BYOB um, is a relatively a new thing. We realize in the time that we're in with fraternities and sororities and just Greek life in general getting shut down across the country. Um, but we realize we need to be proactive just to make sure, one, our guests and members are safe um, when they are at functions, as well as making sure that the fraternities and the sororities um, on an organizational level, they're being protected as well um, in terms of liability. BYOB requires that each sorority provides their own alcohol for a function. Prior to the function, one member brings over the beverages for her house. Then at the function, each sorority is giving a wristband color. In order to receive what you brought, you show the fraternity your wristband and they mark down what number drink this is out of the six pack you brought. With such a sudden change, not every member of Greek life is completely sold. Junior and member of Delta Gamma, Kaylee Gray, expresses her concern of BYOB. I think that um, it is kind of a way for the fraternities to get off of the hook, but it's also putting more liability on the college students, which in return I think could um, cause an issue whenever someone may need to go to the hospital or um, need help after they've consumed too much alcohol. While Purdue's student body may be conflicted on how to solve the national Greek life problem, everyone is in agreement that safety is important. This has been Mary Culprider.